Gail Barrows stared at his chest x-ray. No, that's not it. It was a... Uh, Thor is bewitched. No. Mm. This one. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken, sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Okay. Saga knew what she had to do. Yes. So we need to do that. Profiling. Odin. The record. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize. To your mother, Freya, and to you. Tor's like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Indeed. The record is in the museum. There you go. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am Both. I just playing into the story? And fact versus fiction. Mom move away uh, with me because of Thor. Okay. Because Thor was just, uh, you know, like a jackass. Okay. We open this door now. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, health. I need something to cut this. Oh, yeah, I need something to cut this. Conversation, new choices. Ball cutters, overlap. Okay. So we need to talk to Rose. Where's Thor? What happened? What happened to Thor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh. I knew someone was messing with Thor's head. There's something wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that too. Yeah. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. You communicate with Wake? Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. Okay. Interesting. And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him? How I can stay safe? <laughs> Good dinner recipes? Ways to kill Taken? Lots of stuff. Nice. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book. <laughs> Exciting. Exciting. You're a little bit bananas. You're the one leaving those Alex Casey lunchboxes around, aren't you? Mm. Guilty. They were the only Allen-related containers I could find online. 
He told me to destroy the Taken around town, and I needed some way to stash my gear. I even recruited Mandy May to make knitwork decorations to mark the sites. The stashes are for you, too. You being the hero and all. Nice. Thanks. I already have been. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. Yes. All you need is a strong light, and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Yes. Simple stuff. You should them in the face. The tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Yes. Just doing my part, sister. Nice. We should evacuate the residents, you know? You need to get the residents out of here. It's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. Nice. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Yeah, you know, dimensional breaches and, you know, demons and whatever. It, it happens like every few months around here. Just go. Right. Oh no, I need to profile over here. Uh, do we have anything else to profile? No? Nothing here. Got a bunch of stuff in the cases, I'm guessing. The Anders are brothers. Thor follows Cynthia because Cynthia was confusing him, messing with his head. Ah, uh, Cynthia and Thor. Yes. And over here, the Cult of the Tree. R uh, Wake has been instructing her how to kill Taken. She believes he's been working for him. Um, like, <laughs> called writing part of the ritual? No. Called psychology. Called goal. Called working for with someone. Think. Of, of, I don't know. Can I put this over here? No. Called goal. No. Called working for someone. Why do they want to kill Wake? No. Nightingale? Writing part of the ritual? Vladimir Blom? Ilmo and Jaco Costello? Oh. I'm, I'm trying, but I don't know where to put this. Who's involved? Okay. Rose Marigold. Not a cult member. Okay, good. And we finished this. Jaco, Ilmo, Blom, Mulligan, Thornton, all cult members. Yeah, because more were called leaders. Okay, we got more information over here now. The Alex Casey launch boxes. Who left this? It was Rose. <sighs> Rose Marigold left these lunch boxes for me. Yes. Alan Wake apparently told her to. Nice. I guess I owe her one. Yeah. Very very beneficial if you ask me. Okay, can we, can we go back to the, the other area? Okay. Let me see if we, there's anything that we might have missed here. Locked door. Everything else seems to be open. Can I open that locked door over there? Is this the locked door? Okay, I heard a, a taken. There's light coming from outside now. Hello? Now it's open. Anything else around here? I want to take the arrow. OK, 
Okay, I guess there's nothing else in this place. I'm gonna take the arrow that's here. We're gonna store it. With the rest of the things. Easy. Shoebox. Store this there. A lot of those. Okay. Manual save. Nice. And I guess we are done here. Yep. So, let's just go. Uh, yeah, we need to rescue Tor from the overlap. Okay, no. No taken. There's a lot of light coming from over there. It's from a lamp, but still light. Should we get, like, Thor's hammer? I don't know if it's good that we leave it here. Check the corners and check the ceilings. Because that's how they get you. Okay, there doesn't seem to be anything else here. So I guess what, the only thing we can do now is enter the overlap here. Okay. Everything is kind of weird now. Uh, Rose. Hey, Rose. I'm gonna I'm gonna enter the overlap, Rose. No? Okay. So where do we need to go? Overlap there. And we don't have the bolt cutters. Okay, there was this thing over here. I think we need to go over here first. Yeah. F. Okay. A little bit flooded. And there's dead people. Interesting. Uh, Rose, what? why are there dead people here? Uh, sorry, this is the flare. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, it's two for the rifle. I want to see something. Do I have the ability to just improve something? What is this? Oh, the major thing. Uh, we got seven. Feedback loop. Consecutive successful hits will significantly reduce the time between shots. Kill shot. Stand still to enter an improved focus mode. This mode grants perfect accuracy. Pull shot towards enemy weak spot. Deals increased damage. This is actually pretty good. Bullets penetrate the enemy darkness shield. This is awesome. That is just really, really good. Okay, there's a, like I said, there's a dead guy over there with a knife in his face. Do I have a map of this? Yes, I do have a map. Locked door. Maybe with Rose's key we can now enter these locked doors. I want to check that once we get... <laughs> Jesus Christ! Back to the main house. Yeah, you seem to have like a knife inserted dead there like in your eye that's that's not good you know that's not good it's not healthy but key for an electronic lock door in the Valhalla is a given by Rose uh this one okay good good Mm. 
Ooh, another flare. Nice. Okay, got some health and got some ammo for shotgun. Got 12 shotgun ammo here. We got an arrow. I don't need this friggin' arrow. I'm not using the crossbow. Okay. The dream, the dream work. There was a coffee inventory thing over there. The weird thing is that it's very flooded. There's all sorts of equipment from the old gods of Asgard. There's also a dead guy. Okay. Pretty spooky. I honestly do not need the jump scares. Okay, so we are investigating this section. We got the boiler room. There's a, like a workspace over there. Something over there and something over there. F. Remember, buy more fuses. Many more uh, crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. But you might want to replace the, the crappy equipment. Oh, we have something good. Got a page. Got a page. Paris struggles with artists. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Yeah. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink, got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Yeah. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Also Wheeler possible. Hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Yeah, well, the, the the old gods of Asgard, so, yeah, a little bit old. Okay, we got a light room over here. Nice. Oh, good. Shoebox. I'm going to just transfer this over here. Got a lot of ammo for that. And I, I agree that this thing is very powerful. But slow, very slow to reload. And, you know... It's like cumbersome. Okay, for us, for now we're good. I'm just gonna, and I'm actually going to save here. Okay, so we explored this. There's a point of interest here because of the fuses. Yes. Nothing there. I can't get through this. Yeah, we probably need to go around. Okay, we can double back to get that. Nothing. I do not appreciate. Oh, look at this boiler. But everything's flooded. I do not appreciate not having good stuff here. Can we it open It doesn't this? budge. But. Okay, don't do that. It's a little bit disorienting. Okay, move over that. Oh, Jesus. 
Okay, can we go over? Thank you. Okay, we got something over there and we got this over here before we investigate these two areas. Another page? Wow. Emmett taken. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Ignorant. Their endless gossip, their nose picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom. Ew. Touching things. Touching everything. With poop hands. The world was going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Yeah, a reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He Eve. beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Yes, I agree. For once, I am agreeing with the Taken. It is important to wash your hands with the uh, strong antibacterial disinfectant. Okay, nice. I like it when you give me more batteries and more stuff. Rose, spare fuses now locked away because someone, Ati, keeps stealing them. Coats in the laundry room. BB. Okay, why is Atty stealing the things? Wash your hands! Protect your belongings. Stay safe. Okay, the coat is in the washing room. Anything here? No. Have I... Seeing something here. No. What is this over here? Is this like a shortcut? Hmm. Can't open this, but I'm guessing. Okay, gotta be careful. Because there will be taken here, I think. The projector? Is this from control? Okay, we're in storage now. It is a projector. It has power. Tom the Poet by Thom Thomas Sane as the diver. A pinprick of light in an ocean of darkness. A terrifyingly strange dive into the dark depths of an artist's mind. A film by Thomas Zane. Which for some reason looks like Alan Wake. Okay, I'm not going to trigger that because something will happen when we do that. Okay, maybe there's where the things are. House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. And you see, he looks like exactly like Alan Wake. Thomas Zane, born Thomas Zane, uh, Zane in Finland, and his partner uh, Barbara Jaeger, born Baba Jakala in Finland, have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased the old manor house outside town. The couple has already settled in. In his home country, and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is well-known and respected auteur filmmaker, a rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Igmar uh, Bergman. Uh, his earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel, film studio in the area. He even has a name picked out for the hotel. The Ocean View Hotel. This reporter believed the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams would certainly make Bright Falls a household name if they became reality. 
members of the commune clearly feel the same, seeing Zane as a personal worth revering, even to a faintly cult-like degree. A person who guides his flock to expand their consciousness, reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. For the magic mushrooms, you pay extra. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help out our town, our town on the artistic map. So he was using the magic mushrooms. Yeah, we don't have the code for this. I don't have my clip. Maybe I should go get my clip. We open this. Okay, now it's open. And we come back here. Okay, good. I want a quick save. So for some reason there's oh, it's another page. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Cynthia corrupted. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip, like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Yeah. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. Oh crap. In the dark. Oh crap. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down. She was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out in bubbles. Crap. Okay. Where are you? Code is somewhere around here. Is this the code? Code is 273. Rose. If you see this, please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me. BB. 273. Okay. I heard something. 273. Okay, if someone wants to dance, we can dance. Also, I need to call someone to get take care of this water here. You, you, are you coming for me, bro? I cannot pick this up. Uh, I can probably just uh, move this over here. And now we can pick it up. Two, seven, three. Okay, before we do that, let me just come over here. Ah, the light and some inventory management. Okay, I'm gonna take this and move it over there. I'm gonna take one of this and move it over here. On the dark roads of Montana There's a shadow in the dirt The whisper of a mountaineer In a ragged flannel shirt He walks the stony hillsides With his mandolin in hand but you'll never see his face around this long forgotten land 